Almost 90% of people waiting for an organ transplant are waiting for a new kidney. Now, scientists in Leicester have developed a process for repairing and reviving damaged kidneys before they're used for transplantation. And it's hoped that the new technique could lead to an extra 500 transplant operations a year. Breakfast's Graham Satchel has been investigating this for us. Uh, good morning to you, Graham. So how have they gone about doing this? I think this is one of those simple but sort of clever ideas, really brilliant in a way. At the moment, what, the, what happens if you have a, a kidney transplant is the kidney stored in ice. What they've been doing in Leicester is hooking the kidney up to what's called a perfusion machine, which basically just means they pump blood through it. Mm. It does two things. First of all, it warms it up to sort of body temperature so it's ready to go, if you like. But the other key thing is they can test whether it works. At the moment, 11% of kidneys taken from dead donors are discarded because they're considered not quite good enough. So mm. for the first time, they can sort of work out whether it'll work. And they, the hope is that it will increase the number of kidneys that are available for transplantation. A quick warning about the piece you're about to see. It does show a pig's kidney mm. and a bit of a transplant operation. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Lester and Professor Mike Nicholson is in the middle of a kidney transplant operation. There's some slight disease in the artery, but nothing to write home about. The patient, Rachel, in her 30s, is getting a new kidney from a live donor, her best friend. Transplant operations like this, where the organ has come from a live donor, have become more common in recent years. But still, the majority of operations use organs from people who have just recently died. And using kidneys from dead donors has always had one significant problem. The kidneys sometimes don't work very well, and it's often difficult to tell before transplantation how well a kidney will work, or indeed whether it will work at all, actually. A research laboratory, and Sarah is hooking a pig's kidney to a so-called perfusion machine. Blood goes in through the artery and is cleansed by the kidney. The byproduct, urine. Looks good, Sarah. Where? What is the blood flow at the moment? For just over a year, the team here in Leicester have been putting human kidneys through the same process before transplantation. We can take the kidney, and rather than transplanting it and seeing whether it works or not. The kidney is perfused with blood outside the body and you can decide whether the kidney is healthy or not before transplanting it. As well as testing the kidney, this technique means repairs can also be done. It means fewer kidneys are thrown away. Deborah Bakewell is the first of 17 patients so far to get a kidney using this new technique. Her kidney had been rejected by five different hospitals before being perfused here in Leicester and passed as viable. It didn't bother me that I was going to be the first in the world. I just thought, let's get cracking. Come on, let's get going. You weren't worried? I wasn't worried because I had nothing to lose. What difference has it made to your life? <sighs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, you know, how I feel and my stamina, my energy, you know, is equal to what I was before. Okay. This year, I'm having my first holiday for six years, and we're actually leaving the UK for it. <laughs> so uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Back in theatre, Rachel's operation is almost done. Professor Nicholson's work has been funded by Kidney Research UK, who now want to carry out a full-scale clinical trial. The hope is the number of kidney transplants will increase by 20%, an extra 500 patients a year whose lives will be transformed. So, Graham, you mentioned the statistics there. This could make a real difference to people's lives. It could do. If, the, if what they're doing in Leicester is repeated across the country at all transplant centres, then obviously the hope is that the pool of available organs will increase, uh, and that will have significant consequences. I mean, life for someone whose kidneys have failed is frankly pretty miserable. They're on a dialysis. Uh, Deborah, who you saw in that piece, was on dialysis seven nights a week completely transformed her life, getting a new kidney. I mean, it gave her freedom and she was back to the way she was before. And the other thing I think that's quite important to say is the cost of all this to the NHS. So the NHS spends uh, more than £3 billion a year at the moment keeping people alive on dialysis. Uh, but as obviously as soon as they've got a new kidney, they can come out of that programme and it will save them a significant amount of money. Graham, thank you very much. Mm. Graham, thank you. 25 minutes past seven. You're watching Breakfast.